Nick Skiba kicks it away. Johnson past the 20. Nikeem Johnson rumbles out close to the 35-yard line. A 31-yard return to get it rolling for the Orange. To struggled on third down, 37%. Tenth in the ACC. Welch on the run. Flag comes out. He's still got the football. Now he's dragged down at the 32. Williams made the play, and it's a loss of two, and there was a penalty marker on the play. And when your offense stutters a little bit, fortunately, you've got a guy like Sterling Hoffrichter to help bail you out. One of the best punters around. Hinton is the return man. Wants the fair catch, and near the 18, he makes it successfully. 4.75 seconds of hang time and a 50-yard punt from Sterling Hoffrichter. A 47%. Quarterback's going to keep it, try to move that pile. Certainly enough up to the 30-yard line. to play hungry today on that orange defense if you plan on bringing down Kate Carney. <laughs> it's going to take everything you have and a couple teammates. That's past the 40-yard line for Jones. Carney had 67 yards and a rushing touchdown against Duke a week ago. His sixth touchdown in three career games against the Blue Devils. Over the middle down near the 30-yard line and snared Frankenthal. We've seen so many great tight ends come through there. Cam Serene most recently. Frankenthal using that big box. Enough, guys. Get them where they're up there in all the traffic, all the junk. A cluttered area for Cade Carney and nowhere to go. No daylight. A loss of one. The ball at the 25-yard line for Newman. Throws it down toward the goal line. It's too high for the intended receiver, Jack Frudenfall. He had the big 30-yard catch, but cannot collect that one on fourth down. It is now fourth and eight. From 43 yards away, 21 of 21 on attempts this season. Money. Make it 22 of 22 for Nick Skiba. And that's now 33 straight made field goals on NCAA record. To continue to have success. So a third down and very short for Cuse. First down for the Orange. First down on 11 tries against Wake Forest last time out. Up the middle, second level, Moneo finally tripped up. Moneo, fun back to watch. He, he runs erect. He's got some good shake to him. He's had some big weeks the last couple weeks. They go right back to number 21. And that one goes for 12. The wake ever since Dave Clawson's been there with a couple coordinators has been a, a well-coached defense. Very disciplined. That pass near the 15-yard line just inside of it for seven yards to Jackson. Orange moving quickly. Average about 75 plays per game. Out past the numbers. Spinning away from a couple of wake defenders. Harris to the end zone. He dives and he's in. They are looking at that right heel at the three-yard line. Okay, well, well, let this one play here because now we can see if it actually goes down. It doesn't look like if you if you match up those two shots, the heel doesn't go down. That's a good... You, you, look, you don't see... You still see space, it looks like, under that heel. So if you pair that with the other look, and that's the only thing. It's, it's hovering above that line in the other shot, but you don't know if it's touching. So there, it certainly looks like there's air underneath that heel was the defender that knifed through there. So now it's a first and goal from way back. Welch throws it, caught, and a touchdown. Christian Jackson for the orange. On the season. Yeah, Welch, they say, can really throw the deep ball well. He hasn't had to throw it deep so far in this game, but he's had to put it on the money a couple times, and he's done just that. Just when you back up after the penalty, not feeling sorry for themselves, going right at it and getting to the paint. The transfer from Michigan State, Tristan Jackson. Newman wants to throw from a sturdy pocket. It's intercepted. Andre Sisko.
sophomore with seven interceptions. You'll see him the whole way here, that safety spot, just reading the eyes of Jamie Newman. And a couple balls thrown too high, too strong by Newman today, taking advantage of it is a ball hawk back there. 12 career interceptions for just the sophomore. Andre Sisco doing a good job going back and adjusting to that ball, looking it in. Selmore. For all the folks at home that are around here, they just call him Rhino because he looks like a Rhino, like a big <laughs> offensive lineman back there at fullback. Two for three on third down. Play fake for Welch, and he throws an interception at the 20-yard line. And up the sideline for Wake Forest. Manny Walker with the pick. The markers on the field. Boy, and this one's just rushed. Throws it right into the hands of the defender and Wake finally getting some yardage. They just bring four. Newman runs away from a crumbling pocket. Makes a move at the 50, lost the football. Lost the football, it's on the turf. Syracuse football, Andre Sisco has it. An interception and a fumble recovery in this first quarter for Andre Sisco. It was the right flag. There. Well, if, if it was the hold up top there, it would be before. But it's going to be, I guess, after the fumble. That's 22 forced turnover. He was ready to go. He led the nation in 2018 in interceptions. Little shovel pass by Welch. And there is no gain. Aaron Hackett. Andre Schmidt has not missed inside of 40 yards this season. And he's now 10 for 10. And on the year, 14 of 17 for Schmidt. When you have third and short all the time, it sure makes it a lot easier than those third and longs when the defense can pin their ears back. Newman's pass. Caught at the 45-yard line. Kendall Hinton. It's good fun on Saturdays. Rabbi and his family, <laughs> Phil Shapiro. We started off the season with Lindsey Rowley, who's back calling hockey games. They're on the third down. We've got to stop. Fourth and a healthy three. Got to get to that 41-yard line for Newman, and the Deeks is deflected and incomplete. Off of the hand of Andre Sisko. I'd say that Sisko's just that smart. He knocked it down, let it go, get him a couple yards. Late Welch at quarterback for the Orange, but this is going to be Harris. Welch throws a block. Harris crosses midfield and gets shoved out of bounds at the 46. He's been in this program now for three years. And showing you he's a big, tough guy. He's not afraid of that pressure coming. At least he throws it incomplete. Left to play another down. Uh-oh. Harris. 30-yard line for Harrison. Spun down. Taj Harris taken down by Henderson. 18 yards for the Orange. I think, he, I think he's, he's got to be happy with what he's gotten out of the backup quarterback, Clayton Welch, so far in this game. Cues up tempo, wide open, man at the five, and it's a touchdown for the Orange. Luke Benson, the freshman, makes the grab. Here you see up on the edge, defensive backs, both of them reading bubble screen and just letting Benson make it an easy touchdown for the offense. They got to calm it down and get back into a rhythm. 17 unanswered points by the Orange. This is Walker out of bounds and a first down as Cisco forced him out. This defense is, is, is playing hard right now and they're, they're fighting to get after the football on all these runs here again. Walker wrapped up. First on the scene was Williams and a loss of one. It's not just the slow mesh that we talk about. It's, it's, how many times have you seen Wake take forever to get that hand off there? Perfect example right here, there. Now he does just that and drops him for a loss. Big third down here. Time for Newman. Over the middle and complete. About the 49-yard line to Chapman. That's where they're going to run, break a lot of those routes off. Three for six on third down. Deep ball for Newman. And a clean play defensively. Claude was the intended target. Don Riley, the deep man. Dom Maggio, first part of the game for Wake Forest. Man, that punt was high. It's a pretty good fair catch by Riley. I remember watching that game. If I'm not mistaken, Mac Brown was the analyst in that game. Mac Brown, who's in his second stint as the head coach of North Carolina. They have a big game today as well. 
That Welch pass is knocked down. Carlos Boogie Basham. A few years now in Winston-Salem, the junior out of Roanoke, Virginia. Pop Richter to punt. Hinson. Fair catch signal at the 31. And he has 52 yards on the punt. Three for seven on third down. It brings six. Pocket starts to deteriorate. They drag Newman down. There's a flag on the play. Might have been. The theme might have been. Y'all going to make me lose my mind. <laughs> Syracuse football, 2019. Four and seven on the year for the Orange. Flag is out as Newman goes down. Alton Robinson in the vicinity. And it's going to be Alton Robinson. Not going to be denied after he cost his team with the hands to the face. 22-20. It is third and 16. Three of seven on third down in the game for Wake. Hartman. He's got all day. Down the middle of the field and off the hands of Kendall Hinton. Credit Syracuse for a lot of these big plays, but still uncharacteristic play here early by the Deeks. Riley, fair catch made, 10-yard line. Third and five for the 15. Welch throws on the run. Now it's a third down and 13. You know, sometimes you can't you get out physical, but that's mental errors crush you. Miscommunication. Lynch was also on the staff at Bowling Green with Dino Babers. Pressure came. Hoffrichter got it away. Hinton. Up to it at about the 42-yard line. And then there was contact made, and I see two flags being thrown. Best field position of the game to start a drive for Wake Forest, and that pass is complete. Hartman for Donovan Green, 21 yards. Look at that right knee. Yeah, ice on the knee for Newman. Hartman in the game. He throws. Hinton makes the catch and fights his way to the 10-yard line. Hartman continues to look, throws to the end zone. Who's got the football? Intercepted in the end zone by the Orange. Mello Funwo makes the play. Fighting with Jones for the football, and it's an interception in the end zone by Mello Funwu. Well, Mello Funwu, good job in coverage and going up and just... Just wanting that football a little bit more and then using the body to make sure he keeps the defender off. They can't get ripped away as they hand fight over it. Just a sophomore and very active Noah Fonwu. Is right there step for step. The ball intended for Jones. Can't afford to give up any points right here. They got to find a way. 17 to 3 is fine going into halftime. You can't let them have any more though. You don't want them. It's all the momentum going in. Abdul Adams has been out, the other running back. Jawar Jordan, a great freshman in the red shirt, won't play today. The ball incomplete near the 20. Jackson had it go off his fingertips. Demon Deacon defense forces a punt. Hinton. 26-yard line, fair catch for Hinton on the 39-yard punt from Sterling Hoffrechter. And before we continue, a quick word from Advanced Auto Parts. All right. All eyes on 36 right here. Kate Carney will get you a couple. First down, three yards. It was really cool. I mean, uh, Adam Sandler is one of, one of my all-time favorites as it was to just be around him. Intercepted. Christopher Frederick. Frederick lost the ball at the very end of the play, but covered it. This on senior day. 43 consecutive starts, the longest among active FBS cornerbacks. Frederick with a big pick of his own, and his buddy trying to lead the charge. <laughs> he bounces it right back to himself. This is a carrier dome, after all. A little dribble. Pretty common in here. And, you know, it was Jamie Newman too high and hard on a couple balls earlier in the game, and now it's Hartman. They've got to fix that, and there are no excuses for that. So far, just three points off of those weight turnovers for the Orange as Welch hangs on to the football, and that's going to be a loss of two. 
And Welch has already shattered his career high for completions in a game. Had to move to his left on the snap. Throws on the run. Off balance. And that one appeared to be intercepted. Jasir Taylor. And throwing off of his back heel. Just launching it up there. And a nice play. Excellent job to turn around and go get it by Taylor. Don't want to go limping into the halftime locker room. Pass at the boundary to Green. Frederick defending for the Orange. That's four yards and a first down for Wake Forest. Three timeouts for the Demon Deeks. Two for the Orange. Late in the half. Hartman. Hits his man at the 42-yard line. Claude who went up to get it. He has the ball with 20 seconds to go. Hinton the Hardys. Star to watch. Well, we watch him on this play. Hartman's looking at him. And that's who he finds for a first down. 45 yards. Perfect. 34 in a row. Nick. Skiba, sophomore Clover, South Carolina. Senior day forced into duty of Tommy DeVito and the injured foot. Hartman. Uh-oh. Sliding at the 30, and a flag comes out. Lakeem Williams. 18 yards officially in that first half for Connie. Hartman, quick release again. First down at the sideline for Claude. Look, it's not a coincidence that when Cade got here, we started winning. He said he's a man of moral and high character, not scared to confront people, and people listen to him when he speaks. Kelsey, long play here for Wake Forest. Donovan Green. Hartman, he runs it, but, but not quite as much. And with the intensity, perhaps. Carney. Carney! Into the end zone for Wake Forest and a touchdown. 19 yards for Cade Carney. And Dave Clawson told us it's no coincidence that when he got here, we started winning. It's not going to be a coincidence. Clayton Welch, the senior, is in at quarterback, getting the start. Tommy DeVito injured in practice earlier this week. Had his foot stepped on inadvertently. And unable to go. Tommy DeVito, the sophomore from Cedar Grove, New Jersey, a spectator today. And now third down for Welch. He's running. And gets smacked at the 46-yard oh. line, and a flag is out. He had enough for the first down. Trey Rucker came up and belted Welch. Official Bob Welch. But watch Trey Rucker, the freshman. How many times have we seen a guy, it's, they're almost unable to get that low when he goes helmet to helmet. I think Trey Rucker doesn't deserve a flag. I think he deserves a medal for avoiding the helmet at all costs. So Tommy DeVito, the sophomore, is in at quarterback now for Welch. He took that hit from Rucker, just the second penalty of the game. Har Howard moving the pile forward. First down 11 yards. We're going to be very careful with the way they call these plays as well. Handing off, fake it rather. DeVito's pass at the 20. That is complete to Tristan Jackson. So here we go. Here's, here's a, a third down and long. And let's see what they bring. DeVito completed to five. Diving for the pylon. The ball ends up on the turf. And they're going to rule him out at the two. Johnson on the catch at 18 yards from Tommy DeVito. And with the blitz coming up front, it's picked up. There you see Elmore on the edge. Just enough time to deliver that bullet to Johnson. Elmore and Howard in the backfield. Welch hands it to Howard. He runs into Basham. And he rips him to the turf for a loss of one on third and goal. It is fourth down for the Orange. For his dancing, but this is just a straight-up mosh pit. Getting in there and standing them up, Boogie and company, and it takes a band of brothers, as we've seen a couple times. 20 yards away, Andre Schmidt has already made one from 24 yards away. Three more on the board for the Orange, thanks to Schmidt. There's athletes. There's athletes in Tallahassee. There were athletes in Louisville, and you thought it would take a lot longer, but you get the right mentality in there, and who knows what can happen. Hartman's pass to Green. Breaks the tackle. Green running away from the Orange secondary, and he is in the end zone for Wake. Donovan Green goes 75 yards for the touchdown.
touchdown for the Deeks. For 134 yards in the game. No Jamie Newman. No problem. No Sage Surratt. Scotty Washington. No problem. A little bit of Sam Hartman. To Donovan Green. And there's your Toyota. Let's go places. And going places in a hurry. Just splitting the defenders. How many times have we talked about the angles and the tackling? The great job done by Andre Sisco with Georgia Tech. You know, growing this year, but still, that, that's not supposed to happen. And for Louisville, one of their huge wins this year against Boston College at home, which we got the call. Yes. To. Yes. Johnson. Maybe the 25 yard line. A flag came in at the end of the play. Now you got players with some post whistle conversations. So Clayton Welch with the start today. DeVito looking right. Nothing available. Throws on the run and it's incomplete. Boy, look fine running there. Checking with the sidelines. I'll bring four. From his end zone. Hartman on the run and it's a strike. Right to Claude, past the 25-yard line. Wow, what a big play from his own end zone and a great job up front. Q Springs four, they're picked up, plenty of time for Hartman, and he delivers it right on the money. And how big is it in this game to have two great field goal kickers? Both these teams. Skiba's been come down to the wire. Yeah, 40, uh, sorry, 34 in a row now for Skiba. First down for Wake on the play, 13 yards, and Donovan Green. You don't end a defensive coordinator like Steve Standard in this situation. Walker first down, Syracuse side of the 50, four yards. Today's game would have been disqualified. Seven of 13 on third down, unsuccessful chance for Wake. The pass was too high for Claude and Melifonwu was in the vicinity. It's Riley inside his own 10. Damagio, senior. Riley wants a fair catch. 11-yard line. The first down, but he got hit and had to leave the game, so he has shaken off the after effects of that hit from Rucker. And this pass is complete. 20-yard line, Tristan Jackson. Welch and Harris responsible for the longest pass play in the ACC this season. 94 yards against Pittsburgh. Improvisation and Welch runs out of options, toppled by Jacory Johns in the first sack of the game for Wake Forest. The options because it was a good job covering in the secondary. He even looks for Mo Neal, his outlet over here, and he's covered up. Sweet but lost at Louisville. Nine penalties now for his team, 85 yards total. Welch just flicks it forward. At the 20-yard line, reversing field, Moneal. First down and more, Moneal beyond the 35. And shoved out of bounds by Taylor. Ball game that's so tight right now, and it could come down to that. The third quarter belonging to Wake. 183 total yards and 14 points, couple of TDs. That's another second effort from Jarvie and Howard. It's almost like it's a specific play. Just get in the mix and move that pile. That would be fun to watch. That's more Howard and the folks inside the dome enjoying watching Jarvie and Howard for 11 yards. That ball came out, bouncing around on the turf, and Wake has it. Trey Rucker. Wake Forrest covers the fumble. And Howard has been running so hard. Look to have two hands over it, but that's all that matters in that situation. When you're right there in the thick of things, you got to protect that football and an excellent job to strip it by Tyler Williams and Rucker, who had the big hit. Hartman delivers to midfield and enough for a first down. Hartman complete Hinton put on the brakes let the defender go on by and took it inside the 30 I'd be claustrophobic and make this throw Sam Hartman had bodies all around him I don't even know how he got rid of it the pressure was there Hartman oh some air and touch and a couple of guys got tangled up 
Looked like Frederick defensively and Donovan Green. 48-yard attempt. He's two for two. Connected from 43 and 45. 48 yards away for Skiba. This day and age, college and pro, so many missed field goals that we've seen, big time situations. They've been so good, these two kickers. That's Harris who got popped. Skiba made five field goals against Florida State. Don't have. Oh. Welch has to buy some time. And the purchase pays off for Welch. Inside the 45-yard line on the pass play. Tristan Jackson makes the catch. Empty set here now. Nobody in the backfield with Welch. Third and four. Five receiver set. Welch over the middle and caught. Inside the 15, Jackson. First down and much more. To the 13-yard line at 25 yards. Welch. To Jackson for the orange. On the previous play. This was Jackson who made the catch. He's over 100 yards receiving. 10 catches, 111 yards. Flexing that left hand. Eight and a half minutes to go in regulation. Up the middle and in the end zone. It's Mo Neal for the orange. Wake from college. But from the smile on his face, this looks like it's not far behind. Playing ball for the Orange and the senior into the end zone to give the Orange the lead. Mm. Walker on the run. Check the defense as they checked off on offense to the run play. Here's a fourth down and two now. They missed on their only other try of fourth down. Hartman dropped short of the marker. Flag. Can him pay with the huge pickup getting to the corner. Can they get a yard? Hartman has it. Weaves his way to the 33 yard line. Sam Hartman on the run for 10 yards. Hartman to Green at the 10 yard line. It on his shoulder pad, James. He did, and I'm pretty sure he got in. I think the hip lands inbounds. He has control. Wow, what a catch. Hartman still has it. Takes off. Trying to break a tackle. And he's down short of the goal line. Trying to tie this game in the orange. Hartman at the goal line and caught. Kendall Hinton makes the catch, and the Demon Deeks an extra point away from tying this game with Syracuse. Making points after his first miss in forever. Look at Carney pick up the blitzer to give Hartman some time, and Hartman puts it right out there for Hinton as he comes across the goal line. Trill Williams with the pressure. A look here for Welch. Oh, in the offset, uh, you got the Rhino in the backfield now as well. Mo Neal just barely tripped up after he hopped over the 20-yard lines. Syracuse five wide again. Three-man rush. Open man, 31-yard line. Reception made, Aaron Hackett at 11 yards. Big-time catch there to get to the sticks and move those chains. Second catch of the game for Hackett over the middle. Right at midfield, it's Taj Harris in stride. Spinning his way inside the 35-yard line. 38 yards. And there you're going to see top of the screen. They're isolated. And the defensive back slipping, coming out of the break. He's saying Bassey. Modiel chugs up the middle. Down near the 25 from Moniel. Longest kicks in Heinz Field history. At the time, it took the record pro and college. Right. But in that same game, it was broken. Moniel. And this football game. 
He's 45 of 52 in his career. Seventh most field goals made in school history for Schmidt. Andre Schmidt to give the Orange the lead. 49 yarder. Right down the middle. Three for three on the day. 30 27 juice. Perfect because he makes all his kicks. Nolan Cooney had the hold. Schmidt had the kick. 48 yards away. If they're watching a good one, watching them, they're hoping finish it off the right way here today. Hartman with time. Pass near the sideline, 40 yard line. Stephen Claude, 15 yards. Steve's career long is 49 yards. Hit that in the Birmingham Bowl against Memphis last year in a winning effort for Wake. Hartman's pass at the 45. Hinton struggling to try to get out of bounds. Flags. Hartman. And that is caught. Claude in some traffic. Syracuse side of the 50, 46 yard line. Hartman to get him over the football, excellent. 14 yards previous play. Hartman again unloads it incomplete. <laughs> 35 yard line incomplete. Wow. First down to Hinton, 11 yards. 13 seconds remaining now. Hartman throws near the 30 and caught Hinton again. Got the one timeout. So you can't attack in the middle. Throw near the 25. Four wow. seconds on the clock. Frudenthal and now Coach Clockton will use his final timeout. Just inside the pipe and good. Wow. Wake drives it down the field, James, and here's Skiba. A little bit more interesting with Skiba's kick. <laughs> Did play double overtime last year against North Carolina for the homecoming game and defeated the Tar Heels in double OT. Welch got away from Basham. Being pursued, throwing to Moneal. Just really unable to, to move around and be effective. So here's the senior now. Third down for the Orange. Out of bounds and incomplete. Harris was the closest receiver. For the Orange possession of the first OT. 40 yards away for Schmidt. Money. Gives him win number nine. Handoff. Work to do in overtime. Trailing 33-30. Hartman takes off. Hartman down near the 10-yard line and a first down. Good job, Alan. If there's nothing there, he realizes it in a hurry and doesn't mess around. He tucks it. Has some starts under his belt, but trying to get him a big win here in overtime. First and goal. Hartman to the end zone off of the fingertips and hands of Kendall Hinton. It's over in seven combined turnovers between these two teams here in regulation. Got to protect it. Hartman throws it. Hinton trying to freelance. The ball is taken away. Trill Williams running down the sideline. Williams to the end zone. with a chance to win it. And strip cash money trillionaire to the house. How's that for a finale? Literally raising the roof here in the Carrier Dome and it's about to be popped off anyway. Man, what a play. 
slips it away from Kendall Hinton. And look at him go. Wow, what a football game. Fifth turnover of the game for Wake Forest, and it ends the game. Once Williams took that ball away, James, and had possession for Syracuse, essentially the game was over.